Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome back to No Creek Farms. Now, it looks like the contractors must be all finished with their uh, earthworks. They're uh, heading off back down to uh, their depot, wherever they've come from. So that's uh, good, it means we'll be able to get down to the backfields and uh, start getting those planted soon. Uh, but firstly, this front field out here is all cultivated. Got that done last time. Uh, it's ready to be planted, except I do want to put some slurry or manure on it first. Just so it's had that one layer of fertilization. That's one job to do today. Over the back here, you should be able to see, there they are. You can see the worker there just doing the last of their uh, headland laps around this field. So this one will be ready to plant soon, uh, but likewise it does need some lime put on it. Uh, just on the original part of the field, sort of from the pond heading in the direction we're looking. So that is something else we're going to have to get done and then we are also will make a start on some planting as I said so I'm still not just quite certain what crops we're going to put in uh, probably lean towards a mix of uh, maybe some more corn a bit more uh, cereal and maybe some more soybeans we certainly seem to have made a decent uh, income off the soybeans the last few times and with we've still got the smaller plant here so I could actually get the worker to help me out while we're doing that so uh, first things first though, I think I'll go get the uh, 8430 out and we'll go and get some slurry put on that front field. Alright, we'll just get back in here, be able to get hooked up to the spreader. There we go. And yeah, we've got a decent amount of slurry in the uh, pit. So we'll get this filled up and go and get it put on that field out the front. And just get pulled into here and then we'll get this all unfolded and we'll make a start on getting the slurry applied there we go all going exactly as we would expect so i'm just going to race around i'll get this done and then we'll move on to getting that lime applied i think the uh, workers already finished playing that field just behind us they did not have much to do and they have done that very quickly so We'll uh, be able to go over and get that lime done. But let's crack into this and uh, we'll catch you again in a minute. Right, there we go, that is all of that field done. Did not take very long at all, as I suspected. Now, I have just noticed, though, that the uh, spreader here looks like it needs a little bit of TLC. So, I think we'll just pull it in here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to fit it in, but we'll give it a wash off. We'll get the uh, service truck over here and uh, give it some repairs, and then we'll go and get it put away. Right, there we are, it's looking nice and clean, but it certainly does need a few repairs there to it, so we'll get those done, and uh, get that back to 100%, and that's all better. Get the pickup backed up, I'll turn that off here, it can stay parked here, we're going to need it soon to get the, uh, get the gooseneck trailer out, that's got all the seed and everything on it, but uh, we'll go and get the slurry spreader put away. There we go, looks like the worker has parked up there for uh, after they've finished that field. Which is good. So uh, we will carry on with getting that lime spread. I'm here in the 4840, we've got the lime spreader on the back. Now, if I just bring the map up here and have a look at our fields, you'll see the original field 28 there, which uh, certainly needs some lime on it. 
a little bit of lime over there where we uh, ploughed up what had been uh, contoured or had the earthworks on it. So we will go and uh, get this all done. Be a little bit by memory and using the map to remember exactly where our uh, original field lines were. It won't, over, won't matter if we overlap just a little bit with what doesn't need lime. We should uh, we should have enough in here. The one percent full. Uh, we're not using it up too quickly, so hopefully there is enough that we don't have to run off and get some more. Alright, so we've been around once. I'm going to guess that I managed to pick up the line correctly because I can't see that I did any of those pieces. So from there and across I must have done pretty well. So we're just going to carry on, get this done as uh, quickly and as efficiently as possible. We have used 15% uh, of what we had there, so a quarter of the line we had. So I think I might have to leave the worker going for a brief period and uh, shoot off and pick up some more line. But uh, we will carry on and see how we get on. So as I suspected we didn't quite have enough to get all the way across the field. I don't have too much left to do though. I'll just uh, bring the menu up there. Only two or three passes. But we are going to have to head back up to the co-op and uh, pick some up. So I will uh, shoot up and do that and then we'll get back here and uh, get that finished off. Just down here at the co-op in the uh, grain truck here. We'll get some lime from the uh, stockpile get that filled up and we'll get that back to the farm so we can get that lime spreading finished uh, really keen to get that done so we can start getting some planting underway and uh, get some more crops on the ground so we'll get back to the farm and I will see you back there very soon so we're back here at the farm we've got the lime truck over here with the auger all set up I'm just going to drive in underneath that and uh, we'll start getting filled up now confession time I've spent the best part of half an hour trying to get this auger to work with the spreader and it was as simple as the spreader having an open and closed cover button so I've just closed it even though there's no cover and uh, I'll open it again and it should start filling when I move so there we go caught out by the simplest little mechanic there and uh, just because it didn't have a visual cover I didn't even think about it so anyhow we're here now we are getting some lime back in there and we'll be able to get this field finished and finally get started on some planting so good news good to see I got it resolved anyhow looks like we're going to need a little bit more lime out of the truck I'll get that tipped and then we'll uh, get started all right there we go we're as close to full as we need to be so let's go over find where we got to and uh, we'll carry on and get it all finished now I'm gonna have to uh, probably drive this manually I would have had to have recreated my BPS routes uh, because I did through trying to get this to work start the game and remove some mods and try all sorts of different things so even when things look like they go really well there's often some little gremlin in the background which uh, gets edited out to make it uh, 
not look quite so bad, but there you go. Alright, let's get this done and uh, get on to that planting. And there we go, that is all the line done in this field. So uh, that's no good. We can now plan to start getting going on that planting. I'll get this back and put away in the shed and uh, start to get everything set up, get the seed pulled out, get all the planters topped up and uh, ready to go. Alright, so we've got both the planters out here. We're going to get started on some soybeans again in uh, the fields that we've been working in today. Now I have made one little adjustment to the uh, 1775, if I remember that number correctly, 1720. Uh, we've added the liquid fertilizer tanks on this, so it's uh, done two things. One, it's given us a little bit more seed capacity, because we were not running a fertilizer box. And uh, two, uh, it's obviously added the liquid fertilizer there, so we're running the capacity for that now. So uh, I'll be keen to see how that works out, but what I'm going to do, I'll get the smaller tractor started in the uh, front field and get them going over there and then we will jump into this and plant in the back field out here. So we'll get them all set up and uh, we'll get going. Alright, so we've got soybeans in the seed boxes. I'm just going to get in here and we'll set up a course play route very quickly. And there we go, that's all set up now, so I'm going to hit drive course there, and they should head off, and very neatly start getting some soybeans planted in this field. So we will leave them going, that all seems to have started off pretty well. We'll just jump out there and let them drive off into the distance. And uh, we'll go and get started in the other field. Now, obviously I'll need to have to probably come over and top up the planter at some point, but we'll... Uh, just do that as and when we get a call from the worker to do it. But uh, I'll need to just get back in here and got some liquid fertilizer totes on the uh, side of the shed. And we've also got some seed in here too. So we'll get some of that all put in and uh, carry on. Alright, so we got this all filled up. We just had to move the uh, 8960 out of the way. We'll just head over here. Uh, down towards the corner, make sure we've got soybean selected, there we go. Get this all unfolded, and uh, we'll make a start in this field. Be interesting to see how we get on with the uh, landscaping earthworks that were done in this field to see if it improves, because we know we've had quite a few issues with this planter previously. But we'll get that dropped down, and uh, we'll get started on our first pass around the outside. Do a few headland laps and then we'll uh, get going on some up and down roads. Alright, well that's once around the field. Now we're still having a few issues with it skipping. Uh, we haven't solved the problem entirely. And dare I say it, uh, we may have to see if there's an alternative out there on the market. I know there's been uh, some red machines lately that have uh, quite a good reputation in the uh, planting 
market so we might have to uh might have to consider looking at those and seeing if that's an option to upgrade and replace now i do also know that there's been a bit more of an upgrade to that model uh, which we could check out as well but i do have a notification that the planter over here needs a refill and of course it's right down the other end of the field so we'll go and get this done and uh, get them underway again so we can carry on in the other field all right, I had to pull the trailer out to get to the seed, but there we go, that is all full again. So we will go and send the worker back going in the other field, and we can get back into our tractor and carry on over there. All right, so the worker's back underway, so are we. I'll carry on and uh, get this done. I'll probably have to fill up the seed in the worker's planter probably once more. They were on their third headland pass, and uh, they'll be starting up and down rows now, but probably once more I'd expect. Should get that done, but uh, we will probably need more seed in this planter too once we've gone around once. So we'll just get this done and uh, keep going. Getting around here on our second headland pass, just about finished. You can see the other tractor over there, they're making fantastic progress across that field. Don't have uh, too much more to go, do they? Might be a wee bit, but they're going very well, so we'll leave them to it. And uh, we'll just wait until we get the call that they need to be topped up, and we'll. Uh, carry on with what we're doing here we're going to need to go and grab some seed while we are uh, close here by the yard as well there's no point heading off with only 16% uh, of a seed in our planter alright so we are we are uh, topped up and we're ready to get back going again I did go and check the worker or radioed across the worker I've got about a third of a tank left of seed uh, so they'll be good to go for a bit longer yet what I might do is I might start doing some uh, across rows, up and down rows, and split the field in half. So when they're finished, they can come over and start going one way. And uh, we'll keep going the other way. So if we uh, set up right about here, I think we'll be as good a place as any. We'll get our GPS turned on and set up, and we'll uh, start working across in this direction.
this pool of heart tonight. There we go, just this last little strip to get done and then looking around we've pretty much done the field not too many pieces left that are uh, unplanted some skips, if I just have a look there there is still a few around um, but I have managed to go and pick up most of them uh, often it's to do with on these ridges where uh, the planter straddles them and sort of rolls over and doesn't follow the slope so I kind of have to run down either side you can see there where I've driven down either side of that ridge just to pick it all up but there we go right field finished so uh, that's been a productive but long uh, session to get to where we are two fields planted and uh, we'll be ready to get down into the fields down the back of the farm and get those planted next time so plenty more to do plenty more to come on the farm We've uh, still got quite a little, quite a lot of money there to spend, so a few investments to be made. But that'll do it for me. We'll leave these planters here. They're getting a bit dirty, so we'll have to give them a bit of a clean off and uh, get them ready for the next fields. But uh, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that episode, and we will catch you in the next one.